In this video, I want to show you the three mystery sports around Mount Fuji. Each has its own unique charm, and they are not as well known, but just as impressive as popular sports. I hope this can help you create a personalized travel plan. First, I come to the Fujigane Highlands. This area is Kawaguchiko Yamanashi, has wide grasslands and great views of Mount Fuji up close. But now it's getting foggy. At that time, I wasn't sure if I would still be able to see Mount Fuji, but I was lucky. The Fujigane is about 12 kilometers from Mount Fuji and at an altitude of 1000 meters connects with the Asagiri Highlands. The average yearly temperature is a cool 11 degrees Celsius. Nearby, there are 43 farms with a total of 4,900 cows. There are also golf courses and campsites. You can hike here and always see Mount Fuji. And here is one of Japan's hundred beautiful villages. In the morning, the light is from behind, and in the afternoon, it is from the front. If you like taking photos, you can capture stunning pictures of grasslands, starry skies, snowy fields, and Mount Fuji. If you visit on a cloudy or rainy day like I did, the area is covered in a light mist, giving it a magical and mysterious feel. There are very few visitors, especially on raining days, creating a peaceful and secluded atmosphere that I love. It really makes me feel calm and relaxed. Actually, here is my favorite place on this trip. If you like this magical movie feel, come on a cloudy day. If you want to come here, take the bus from Kawakuchiko Station to the stop code Prefectural Border on the Shin Fuji Line. I will add the bus information links in the description below the video. Next, I went to Aokigahara Forest on the northwest side of Mount Fuji. Aokigahara, also known as the Sea of Trees, was formed by lava from a large eruption of Mount Fuji in 864 AD. It is between 900 and 1300 meters in elevation and covers over 13 square kilometers. This area is one of the least disturbed by humans around Mount Fuji. The dense trees move like waves in the wind, giving it the name Sea of Trees. For those who have lived in Japan for a long time, this place might not be very secret and many people visit. However, if you go a bit deeper, you can avoid the crowds. Most tourists just visit Fukaku Wind Cave near the entrance. One of the entrance to the forest is from the Aokigahara Nature Trail next to Fugaku Wind Cave. Follow the signs to explore. The 
cold, dense trees create a peaceful and quiet place. You can also see many different plants, some with unique shapes. This forest is like a hidden world full of life and beauty. You may have heard that this is a place where some people come to end their lives. The special magnetic field here can make people lose their way. But as long as you stay on the marked path, you will be fine. If you want to come here, take the bus about 30 minutes, get off at Fugaku Wind Cave or Narusawa Ice Cave. The entrance to the forest are nearby. If you have heard of the Fuji Five Lakes around Mount Fuji, the most famous is Lake Kawaguchi. But for locals, they might prefer to visit Lake Yamanaka because it has less human interference and is closer to its natural state. There are also fewer tourists. Many people camp, relax, and kayak here. In winter, you can also see swans. The last place I want to introduce is a small mountain near Lake Yamanaka called Teppoki no Atama. It's also known as Mount Nyoji. Walk through a small forest towards the peak. Reach the top in less than 30 minutes. You can get this amazing view. This is, in my opinion, the best place to see both Mount Fuji and Lake Yamanaka. It's almost unknown to foreign tourists and really recommended by travel websites. But it's a must visit for local hikers. Using a Fujifilm camera to photograph Mount Fuji feels special to me. Come here on a sunny day evening. You can take nice photos in the sunset. But I chose a cloudy day because I like this weather. It gives my videos and the photos more atmosphere. If you come here by bus, start your hike from the bus stop at the lake's edge. It's about 2 kilometers to the top, taking around 1 hour. That's all I want to share. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.